So in this screencast, I'll show you how to compress your movie within iMovie 09 to make it playable within Diva. So I have iMovie here and I've already put together a movie. Uh, it's just some simple plants here with some cross dissolves. You can take a look at it. Um, nothing too hard, but it's definitely ready to export. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the top menu bar. We'll press share and you go to export using QuickTime okay so once again of course give your movie a name the name of mine will be plant movie and you will want to give it a destination and I'll save my movie to the desktop now we don't have to worry about any of these drop down menus we'll just go straight into this options button uh, to set the parameters for our compression so we go into the options and it brings up the movie settings window and you'll see it's broken into three sections we have the video sound and internet streaming settings okay you want to make sure that all three of these are checked uh, if for some reason one of them isn't checked say if the sound isn't checked your video will compress with no sound so unless you want it like that you want to make sure that that is checked along with the other three so we'll just go from top to bottom we'll start with the video and we'll go into the settings button so press that and once again from top to bottom we're going to use this h.264 codec for our video compression as you can see there's a whole bunch of different uh, compression types that you can select but h.264 will give um, the best quality video within diva uh, for the frame rate we're going to go down to 29.97 and keyframes will go every 30 frames so we'll change that up and moving along to the data rate we're going to restrict to 3000 kilobits per second and then everything else uh, can stay the same and we'll go ahead and press OK now we don't have to worry about the filters button and we'll go to the size button here and this is important where you have to know what you shot in within the Sony Handycam to make sure that it matches uh, when you compress out of iMovie so uh, in this particular movie, I did shoot in uh, widescreen, so I'm going to use this NTSC 720 by 480 16 by 9, and that was shot in standard definition. If you shot in standard definition, but uh, shot in 4 by 3, um, this is the se selection that you would use: NTSC 720 by 480 4 by 3. And if you shot in high definition, high definition is automatically widescreen. So you would use uh, one of these selections, whatever it is that you used um, while shooting with the Handycam. You definitely do not want to use any of these PAL settings. PAL is a, a broadcasting um, format that's used in Europe, in Asia, and overseas. NTSC is the broadcasting format for here in America. So that's what we're going to use. Okay. So I selected my proper uh, dimensions and size, and I'll just press OK. Then moving along to sound, we'll press settings and the format we'll use AAC. Uh, the channels will be stereo left and right and the rate will be 44.1 kilohertz. You have other selections here but you can go ahead and select 44.1 and as for the quality normal is good and the target bit rate will stay at 128. So you go ahead and press OK and lastly uh, to prepare for internet streaming you want to make sure that this is uh, your movie is hinted for streaming if that is not selected it will not play within diva okay so after all that is finished just go ahead and press ok and then we'll go ahead and save our movie and now it's exporting uh, my plant movie and it will save to the desktop so my movie has done compressing and it's right here on the desktop we can take a look at it I'll go ahead and minimize the iMovie and we'll go ahead and double click and play this for a second. And there you go. And this video was again shot only in standard definition. As you can see, the quality is actually really good. So this video is now ready to upload into Diva.